Hello, Fabian Jones and Mr. Who Reviews. Today we're doing Digimon Savers or the Digimon Data Squad or the Dodgy Watson Games version. And this is the fifth Digimon series in the franchise. And just to tell you now, I haven't watched any of the uh, Japanese version of it, so uh, some of it might be different in it than in uh, the English version, so Aww. and we uh, in this version focuses on this uh, police group known as the Data Squad, but mostly on the leader of the group name of well, kind of leader named Marcus Damon. Yeah, he's the only like main character in this one, so that supposed to be the leader does not wear goggles. I'm guessing because they want they want to get how they get teenager wear or something, but uh, I don't know. I say teenager because I think he's about thirteen or fourteen since the main girl at uh, Yoshi in it is able to drive, so I'm guessing he's sixteen, seventeen. And yeah, Marcus's partner is a uh, Agumon in this, but he looks different than the Agumon from Digimon Adventures. Just with his uh, eyes looking kind of different, than and he's having these uh, strap things on his uh, claws. I don't know if there's a name for it, since I know there's different variants of the uh, Agumon, but. Hmm. And I'm actually called Marcus a boss since he beat be him in a fight. Yeah, I don't know where uh, uh, from that conflict with the Digimon calling their partners like boss or what a uh, Galmon calls the uh, Thomas a uh, sir. It just seems like they're employees or servants to the humans, but I don't know. Uh, anyway, for the first few episodes, it's just a uh, Digimon of the, of the week since there's these uh, portals from the Digital World that open them up that uh, bring Digimon to the dead, the human world, and they somehow uh, uh, connect with some people, and that's why they're doing the bad stuff. Like they said, uh, one girl wants her dad to stop boxing, so Togemon does something to do that. But I think they really did it because they wanted a, a Galmon who's a dog with boxing gloved face, a uh, Togemon who's a cactus with boxing gloves and a boxing ring. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, this is another series where uh, a hot head character is teamed up with a cold uh, calculating character. That, that's what said this one's bread and butter, isn't it? But. Hmm. And there is a episode with the Thomas acting a little goofy where he's actually spending the uh, time with the uh, Marcus's sister uh, Christy and their mom during Christy's birthday and just kind of laughing evenly saying he's gonna give uh, Christy the best birthday ever or something. But his plans kind of fall through and this don't do anything fancy, just says something as simple and just get uh, Thomas to remember uh, some time with his uh, mother before, uh, like when he was a kid or something. And turns out he had a great day, when, even though he finally gave Christy a great day. I mean, the plot does get better when he introduced uh, this uh, new human character named Keenan. Yeah, apparently, uh, Ke well, uh, a Digi Portal opened up when uh, Keenan was a baby and sucked him in. And he was raised by a Digimon named the Frigimon. And for some reason, he talks like he's a Tarzan, you know. Well, in the English version, the Digimon speak perfect English. And it also turns out that, uh, Day Squad or that at first was a was a certain rescue group 
to find Keenan and they ran into some problems and the uh, Marcus's dad the uh, says Spencer James had to say hi and he, yeah all through the series you just hear how great and see how great uh, Marcus's dad is. You think it was a Lincoln or something. Mm, I don't know. And uh and then see uh, Chrissy gets her own Ed Dismond and it's uh, actually uh, Vilmond. And for some reason they give uh, the Dismond different evolutions than in the previous season. Like uh, Vilmon is able to uh, Dismond in the uh, Aquilomon, even though that's Hawkmon champion form. And uh, that uh, Mold Elmon thing and Devolved into a uh, Digmon, even though that's the uh, Armored Dilemon's armor this div evolution. I guess we're trying some different. Um, I'd say this is one of the dr most dramatic uh, Digimon series since it shows that uh, one of the scientists that was in the uh, search and rescue group to get Keenan that created this uh, a robot to cause the uh, Dizzy genocide. But it turns out he's uh, somehow allergic to Digimon, even though some of them don't have fur. And later on, he, he does uh, try to take over both the Dizzo and Yum world, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, Thanks to the Dizzy genocide, uh, Keenan, as he hates uh, humans now. Since yes, he has uh, watched the uh, uh, Frisimon die as a kid, and the leader of uh, this uh, faction of, of the digital world named Marukimon actually taught him how to fight or something. And uh, uh, King Paris is actually Falcomon, it's kind of like a falcon type uh, bird. And this uh, is also Miss. Trust for humans as well, and uh, this a uh, gasoline uh, organizes an, an attack on the human world, and that reveals it. Kane he has he is human when Kane is forced to go back to the human world, and I do have to say Kane is a interesting uh, character. Yes, he's kind of like uh, Ken or a uh, Ko Koichi. Uh, I can't remember which, uh, which is the uh, right name, Koichi or Koji, I think me Koichi, but hmm, from uh, Digimon Frontier. He still starts off as a antagonist of the group, but as uh, slowly uh, he starts to care for Marcus and the others, especially since Marcus actually treats him like uh, a big brother or, he's, or yeah, a little brother in the, or the Arcane just sees him. As a big brother or something. Anyway, uh, after uh, some time, decided to go back to the world to face Murukimon and the uh, uh, the scientist Karada that created the the ro robotic uh, death machines. As he killed Murukimon, and there's this. Good saying, or Keenan is saying that he's gonna hate humans forever if uh, Rukon, if only if Rukon lives. But Rukon points out if he does do that, then he has to hate Marcus and the others. And then Keenan remembers what uh, Friedman said as he fights with the others. And Crowder does escape, and the others do get back to that. But he as he tells God the guy in charge of the whole uh, of, uh industry of that or the whole place that they turn on turn on him and they use uh well their version of the uh, men in black and neuralizers to erase uh, all of, uh, the three characters memories of the Digimon and some of their loved ones. Uh, let's see the uh, as yet. True and or they kept their memories back and somehow they had to call Keenan from Falcomaba. Mm. 
Uh, this one about to go back to the digital world to save it. Dr. Dokrata hired these uh, three people who are actually fused into Digimon. Uh, yeah, I can't see how that's a evil thing since they're f the Digimon are forced to fuse with the humans, where in uh, some like Digimon tamers, the, the bond between the their Digimon cause them to like a human Digimon hybrid. So, mm -hmm. uh, I think that the human Digimon, the fusion Digimon human thing, was kind of good, but I didn't really have. Do like a uh, then refer them with the character other than that. Thomas, and it turns out Thomas has a little sister named uh, Rorina, and well, half sister, and she has some uh, daddy issues with father. And Rana tells you, forcing uh, Thomas to betray uh, Dead Squad since he says he can actually cure Rorina of her illness by fusing her. With a Digimon, of course, Rain is a kid, and they uh, understand what that means. And of course, uh, Thomas wants to keep his sister safe, you know. Him and Zad are see like eye to eye and just pretending to uh, betray that. But of course, when uh, him, Marcus, and their Digimon fight, they have to. That they do. The uh, uncontrolled Digimon like the other series, and that's has to be one of the darkest uh, mo moments for a uh, uh, uncontrolled Digimon scene. I think it's as dark when a uh, Geomon went uh, berserk, but still. And only because uh, because Chrissy and uh, Mark was able to, able to calm down, and I got a message about uh, Boncho Leomon. He's cool and kind of like uh, an all known character that actually warned Marcus about this new thing called the Burst Mode that caused uh, Shining Greymon to go uh, berserk and then turn to Digiag once uh, he exhausted all his powers. And uh, Gerald Cross's plan of taking over the digital new world is to uh, set free one of the seven deadly. Uh, Demon Lord for this world called the uh, Balfomon. Yeah, it turned out Balfomon's asleep and going to be awakened by some by some sort of amount of Dizzle energy. I wonder what said said that he said he represents a slot. So, mm. the Thomas actually is softly a Balfomon. Uh, waking up or he just tanks, but also turned out the. Uh, Karada actually uh, suspected Thomas would betray him, so he actually fused with Balcomon. So, yeah, this goes back and forth with Balcomon being controlled or Karada being controlled, and finally, uh, uh, uh Cormon, because I was at DJ with Thomas or with Mark thinking that he didn't uh, know who he is and said uh, Bonzo Demon saying that there's a chance that Ogmon will lose his memories of Marcus, kind of similar to when uh, Vimon came out with a DJ and just said, uh, kept saying he needed to protect Chris, even going on a rampage. Um, the turn out uh, Carmon does remember Marcus and they get to a fight. With the uh, Balfomon or Karada, whatever. And let's see, they do win, and yeah, it might be a, a draw since uh, Karada actually, actually activated these uh, dimensional distortion devices that opened up a huge portal to the digital world and, and nearly uh, is about to cause the, the two worlds to. Into each other. And there's a bit of a clip so with the king of the digital world, uh, King Drazel, uh, was saying he's going to destroy the digital world and sound all the bad stuff. 
that humans did to Wonder Woman Night named Mercury Mom. And he takes up the the this one work uh, work with that that's a brainwash work with them. Ugh, don't know. I mean that's not her that the that's correct he decided to uh go to this world and actually crash land there and totally crash land on that Gatsuman who just remember who they are but when they did well to take on a uh, Mercury Ron he does remember that he, he, uh, that uh, Swine Greymon was the one that uh, uh, slammed into him when he fell. Ugh. And then see the other Royal Knights as they come, and some of them were some before, like uh, uh, Gallimon and uh, Magnamon, and I think uh, Sir Nightmon was there as well. But of course, uh, Vidramon uh, v- uh, is the uh, it's the first time, and so is uh, some other ones. I like just ask, why is the Vimon uh, Evolution Nine have this one that had two uh, Royal Knights in it? It it, it I just don't, I don't get it. Is Vimon just that popular at Disney or something? But uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, and Obi-Wan's there as well. And Kid Rick Tristle just up and Mark is gonna uh, give him a real big, real hard punt in the face, but when he pulled back the cloak, it turns out it was uh, Max's dad. Um, and he actually wants to start this world, and Mark is really ta- a real world, and he's not taking it that well. And I think they would have noticed that his voice sounds different, so. Yeah, and the next episode is uh, Stone being saved by one of the other wa- Royal Knights who's like a centaur. And that's the uh, the Digimon power to the captain of that. Yeah, I can't remember all the Digimon names. I don't know if there's more Digimon than Pokemon, but. Hmm. And the whole episode is about uh, Marcus trying to come, to come to grips to his uh, dad being the king of the Digimon and. Want to destroy the human world. And, uh. He just decides to try to get through this stuff by talking with his mouth or with his fists. And that's how the actor, that one is very good as well, with uh, Thomas going to uh, his dad and little sister when his dad wants to, to take off a, to a plane to Austria to the family's uh, estate. And to get more context on the uh, why uh, uh, Thomas and his dad have a bit of a, uh, problems with each other, with just with uh, Thomas's grandmother being one of those uh, high society types that wants the proper uh, bloodline of the Norsons to continue, even though uh, Thomas's mom is uh, in in like a a rich person and Rowena is very sickly. So Thomas is technically uh, the heir to the North Sign family, but not technically, but uh, not really, but whatever. And then see, uh, Thomas doesn't understand that his dad was a uh, kind of him when uh, he lost his man, was feeling guilty for it. He put his uh, kids through. And that, and they both saw that they uh, care for each other and they care for uh, Rolina and that. Um, Thomas and uh, Gamma decided to follow Marcus, and eventually, uh, uh, Yossi and uh, Kim do as well. When uh, uh, Viamon actually uh, shows up with some other uh, in training, this man, I don't remember crazy Christy, so it's a little awkward. Between the two. And, uh, yeah, and then uh, Marcus actually defeats uh, Cranimon. And turns out that uh, uh, Bonzo Limon is keeping the portals open by giving up his own uh, life force, but at one point in the 
so at Merkel and actually takes his place. And it also turns out that Max and Dad said this little essence or something is in the Bon Soleiman since they're partners and they're actually looking for King Drazel when Max and Dad was in the Dizzle world. Yeah, and also turned out King Drazel he took uh, Thomas on uh, a Pastor Damon's body when uh, Bon Soleiman kind of killed him. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And uh, Mark has to kill Bonsolima when he's has a uh, uh, King Drazel in uh, his dad's body in a like a a bear hug or whatever. Yeah, this ser series is just very dramatic and has a lot of has so like a sad sad music going on when dramatic stuff happens, which is just. Very good, I think. But it turned out even though uh, Max's dad's body is destroyed, King Drazel isn't, and the Dats crew had to uh, take care of him, and he yes, actually does get to kind of get defeated by Marcus and Ogmon combining their powers together, and he said he, he would have. Uh, Fix everything, and as he does fix everything, he wants the Americans and I want to prove that he just wanted to use can work together. And turns out he actually brought the Spencer Dame back from the dead. And as it turns out, the King Jay was a computer program, and and I think uh, he's the one that created this world. So yeah. And there's some sort of happened with Raw Knights, and since uh, King Drazel is uh, kind of gone for a while, and there's no actual authority to the Dizzle world, the Dizmon and Dash decide to go back to the Dizzle world to keep the, keep the, the peace or whatever. Uh, America decides to go as well. Yeah, that thing's a good idea, I don't know. Maybe else does. And then at the end, there's a Time skip with the uh, Keenan and uh, Chrissy going to school together, and some of the people who are working at that become cops. And Tom is able to cure uh, Marina from, from, her, from her disease. Yeah, did he uh, say what was he had? So he was just uh, like uh, very sickly, and there there are people there with the. Same type of disease, but whatever. And then it's Evan Marcus and uh, Ogmon just get into a fight with some feud in uh, Digimon. And yeah, I think uh, Digimon Sabres or Digimon is a good season, but I don't really know if uh, I like a uh, human actually punts in a Digimon to just get the uh, stronger and say. They need some sort of digital energy to actually their evolutions in the device, and this is actually the first season where not just uh, the main two characters get like a mega or a, a different mode to the Digimon, since uh, simulators get as well. And I do think Marcus is a kind of a good character, a bit headstrong, a bit goofy, and very violent, but I guess uh, you have to be when you want to be the ultimate fighter or something. I don't know. I think you have to be my least favorite of uh, the Dismal uh, leaders. I think Ian Davis is probably better than him, but hmm. uh, I think Thomas is uh, a good character as well. I guess he's on uh, some of the, some of the flashbacks through his uh, childhood, like losing his his mom or just stuff with his dad and that. And uh, Yoshi is just a uh, the token girl character. Didn't get that that was development other than I remember in, uh, her piano recital when she was a kid. That's how she first met her partner Lalaman. What is Lalaman supposed to? 
be anime. It's supposed to be like a small squid or something, because the Digimon was like a flower type Digimon. Even Rosemon has a Mega. I thought that was supposed to be like a Palmon's Mega. So this, the different Digimon does have the same Mega or something? Hmm. And, uh, some of the side characters are good as well, like, uh, Marcus's, uh, mother, Christy, and I kind of like, uh, the character of, uh, L Lena, you know, she's just a, a, a younger kid. And some of the Digimon were good as well, even though, uh, Galmon and Ogmon, as I said, seem like they're servants. To Marcus and uh, Thomas, but I do see that you uh, care for the humans and do seem as uh, more than just their like masters or bosses, like their their friends, or whatever. And uh, yeah, be some years after this, I did my cross or fusion will will come. Yeah, I think uh, this one didn't get, didn't do that well. Today. Ratings, but mm, I don't know. Um, yes, I did hear about the two things announcing the Ditty Fest on the first of uh, August. I don't know if a uh, uh, Ghost Game Digimon or Digimon Ghost Game is similar to a uh, Appmon, like just a spin off. No, probably a. Uh, uh, give it a watch, so I have to see a trade for our first. And I'm interested in seeing the new movie focusing on the Zero Two cast. I, I might be interested in them. I'm glad they're not doing another movie based on the the, uh, the first uh, uh, Avenger cast uh, either by, and I do hope at some point that a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! or the people behind you go see this and see that you don't have to just uh, do a movie with just with that just say uh, you you get the only protagonist. People want to see the other protagonist as well. They want to see Jaden, you say Yuma, probably you as well. But, mm. And uh, I I kind of thought they were gonna do. A Tamers movie since this is like uh, the 10th or something anniversary of Digimon Tamers, but maybe they're just gonna do like uh, an audio story with them or something. I heard they did that too already before this or after the ending the Tamers in Japan, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, like I said, Digimon uh, Day Squad is good. I would recommend it to any fan of the Digimon. And I did like the dramatic stuff in the episode. And I did like uh, Keenan and Falcomon. I'll probably get Digimon Fuse now this sometime this year, but I haven't really, really decided, so that's a way to see. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys.